this is now looking to be four straight spares, and it may be done early for Major Mika. Really good shot there, another ringing 10. And all of a sudden now this title is starting to look like it's beginning to get gift-wrapped for Chris Barnes. Remember, he is your defending champion, and Chris Barnes has never successfully defended a title out here. Barnes also defending player of the year. They asked him about the player of the year current race, and he was pretty blunt. He said, I, I, don't, think I'm, I don't think I'm still in it. And with three event, events left in West Malott, way out in front, I really only see three guy, or two guys that will actually challenge West, and that would be Norm Duke and Patrick Allen. Barnes, if he does hold on and win, will move up to fifth in the player of the year points race with 37 points. Final. That puts Chris Barnes in the 230s right now. The best Mika Koivuniemi can shoot is 227. One more strike for Chris Barnes will be in the 240s, and he'll, he'll be able to put it on cruise control. Looking for his 11th career tour title. And the first of this season on his sixth telecast. Leaves the nice seven. Job. This is the fourth time Barnes has made three consecutive shows. In 2000, he made five straight shows, but won none of those. Stay in the moment, convert the spare, stay clean, and you win your 11th title. Quite honestly, this is the type of performance we're seeing today out of Chris Barnes that you would expect based on what you see during the week and how dominant he is on a weekly basis out here. This is the kind of stuff you expect to see him do. And unfortunately for Chris, it just hasn't been that way. Today, however, different story. And then Mika leaves that. And he's breaking out a lot of Finnish vocabulary right now. And this is being televised back in Finland. Some people are probably laughing at the words he is choosing because I don't know what they are, but I don't think they're warm and hospitable. Laughing or cringing. Yeah. And right now, Mika just looking to get out of the way. Chris Barnes is going to win this tournament. And unfortunately for Mika, the next time we see him, it'll be in a very ugly pair of slacks. This Don Johnson Buckeye State Eliminator is one of five tournaments that make up the PBA Extreme Swing. Next up, the Go RVing Match Play Championship in Norwich, Connecticut, March 22nd. Kind of a March Madness type bracket. And then the title, the TV show, is Best Out of Three Total Pins. And if you're there in Norwich on Saturday, bonus bowling event. Featuring you. And some of your friends, I hear. The Hambone Invitational. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, it, it was a nice run for Mika up until this match, and he really started to fall apart, especially on that right lane. And now it's moved over into the left. Chris Barnes just dominating this title match. And Barnes steady all afternoon long here in Columbus. He won match number one with a 238, had a 235 in match two to move on to the title match, and 66 pin lead, and the defending champ has defended. What a dominating performance in this title match. Even heavy, and he gets them all to drop.
That lane started to hook so much for me. Yeah, I know. It's, I had to get away. That's just... They were teammates for the better half Next of this week, afternoon. Next week, we're going to show again. Some people are rooting for me to get show now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mika, Mika saying they're rooting for me to get on the show because Mika will be sporting the Madras pants the next time he's on television. Another strike for your winner, Chris Barnes. Mika drops him too. Great crowd here in Columbus. I don't know if we've given them enough props, but they are all on their feet, packed in here. One of the larger crowds we've had all season here. Closes with a four-bagger. And tour title, number 11. Harry the Tiger Smith grabs a hold of him. It's like Don Cherry. One Hall of Famer to a future Hall of Famer right there. Tim Boss. Tim Johnson. Last time he won was last year around this time in Columbus. He's got the title and the pants to hand off to Mika. Two fifty-eight, one seventy-two. Your final. PBA takes a week off. And then we'll be in Norwich, Connecticut for the Go Arding Match Play Championship live coverage. One Eastern, March 22nd, right here on ESPN. Chris Barnes, dominant and steady throughout the day. Lumber Liquidators, PBA Tour title number 11 in the books and his first of the season. And Barnes now number five in the Player of the Year points race with 37. For Randy Peterson and our entire crew, I'm Rob Stone. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Dave Pearson has never come to the ESPN zone in Las Vegas to finish second at the International Speed Pool Challenge. But that's what he's done in the first two years of the event. He wants that to change. Today, he gets another chance at an elusive title against the player who beat him last year, Bobby the Kid McGrath. Will we have an historic repeat champion or an excited first-time winner? It's time to find out the final of the 2008 International Speed Pool Challenge in high definition is next. From the fabulous ESPN Zone at New York, New York Hotel in Las Vegas, it's the finals of the International Speed Pool Challenge, brought to you in high definition. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Las Vegas. Glad to have you with us, as always, for a great final matchup coming your way. Mitch Lawrence and